to introduce you to this project we're doing right now. What we're going to make is a gorilla face and we're starting with a piece of foam here and then we're going to sculpt over the top of that so that uh, just saves some clay, saves some time. Once the uh, and we're going to sculpt it in water-based clay, which is right here. Um, water-based versus oil clay, which never dries. So oil clay you can use again and again. This is water-based clay, uh, which will dry up. and so, uh, But it sculpts really easy. So that's why we're using water-based clay. And once it's sculpted, then we're going to use the silicone mold here to this Umu... 30 by smooth on. We're going to go ahead and pour a mold over the top of that and then we're going to cast into that mold with liquid plastic which is another smooth on product. Both of these I got on Amazon and I'll put a link to these on my posting and uh, we're just using some of these tools here to sculpt just normal pottery tools and uh, a little bit of water and we're going to go ahead and uh, start adding some clay to make the form of this thing according to my sketch uh, it's going to be four inches tall and about two and a half inches wide and it's going to stick out about three inches Okay, here's what the uh, model looks like. This is water-based clay. I'll go ahead and turn it around here. This is four inches tall, one and a half inches for a pop-out. And uh, this is water-based clay, and we're just using these references here as to help us. And just using these clay tools here use this tool quite a bit for uh, getting the details in there and then <clears throat> use a needle tool for some of that detail and then I'll use this round loop tool for doing some scoop out and use this diamond tool for carving some of those lines okay and then to top it off, you take a little brush, dip it in water, and then just take a brush and smooth out all those areas in there. And that just really softens things out and makes it look pretty realistic. So the model is done. Now the next step is to make a mold of this using silicone and that'll be the next video. Alright, so we're ready to do the mold. We're going to take this mold release, Ease Release 200. We're just going to spray it on the walls and over the clay. Now silicone doesn't want to stick to this but this is just to give it a little extra uh, just just in case. Okay now we're ready to mix up the mold. We're going to be using a tin based silicone mold made by Smooth On Umu 30 and this gives you about 15 minutes to mix it up and then it takes about five to six hours to set up if you get Umu 25 it will set up in about 45 minutes a lot faster so you gotta stir it up part 
what is this, part A or B? Part A is like a taffy. So you want it to be very smooth. What I'm going to do is just um, fill up two containers. Each one is going to be 10 ounces. You mix them one to one. what I'm going to fill up. I just took water and uh, put it in these cups first and filled it up, two of them, until I figured out, okay, 10 ounces each, fill that up. It's pretty good. So that's how I figured out the volume on that. And we'll do the same thing with the pink and we're going to mix them together. You want to mix silicone very, very thoroughly. Or if you don't, if you don't, it's not going to set up right. And for a case situation like this, where I'm just doing uh, something on a water-based clay that's going to be ruined after I pour the mold, that means I'm going to probably have to take. You know, if it doesn't set up right, it's going to ruin my clay model, and I'll have to redo that again. So, it's better to you know, make sure you have a consistent color. It's turning purple, lavender. And if I was doing a larger batch, I would use a drill and a paddle to mix this up. Okay, so the mold silicone has set overnight, and I'm going to go ahead and release it from this now. You can see the clay underneath here. Take, a, uh, take some water and just clean out any of that clay that's in there and now it's ready for casting. Alright, we're ready to uh, do the casting. What I have here is Smooth Cast 300. I got this on Amazon. Uh, it's a one to one, part A, part B. So we have that poured out right here. And we're going to go ahead and pour that into here. Mix it up. You have three minutes to mix this up before it starts setting. So, got my stir stick ready. Then what we here is we have a, the casting is going to have a bolt, stainless steel bolt embedded into it. So we have that hanging there. And then the nostril holes of this are actually going to have smoke coming out of them. So we have clay going down to the nostril holes um, to facilitate that. So we're going to go ahead and Mix these together. And I'm 
using water-based clay so that after the casting, I can clean it out easily. That, that clay can get removed out of there. There it is. Now this will set up in 10 minutes. Okay, it's been 10-15 uh, minutes, so we're going to go ahead and demold this. Casting number one in the holes in the nose there, go all the way through to the back side. So we'll um, peel off this cardboard and this clay and uh, we'll have to um, clean out the cardboard, get that all cleaned out. We might have to grind it down just a teeny bit just to fix that. And then uh, we got a nice bolt there to attach this to. And then it'll be ready to we'll clean it up and paint it. So here are the finished casts. Um, I could do more than this, but this was just enough to work with. So this is a white plastic cast that has been spray painted. And you can see on the back side here there's studs, stainless steel studs that are embedded into the back. And each one has a hole that goes to the nostrils because this customer is going to paint it chrome it's going to get attached to a car and he's going to have smoke that comes out of the nostril holes so if you like these things visit customwoodcarvings.com that's the website for the name of the business is Custom Sculpture and Sign Company out of Nicholsville, Virginia mm -hmm.